of Raymond Marron says they feel disrespected by the sentencing. For them to kill my brother and leave him in the steam, burning alive, burning, you know, in his vehicle, not taking him out is, and for them to get six months to me, that's not justice. He was alive while he was burning. 26-year-old Miguel Gutierrez and 21-year-old Kayla Nunez pled guilty to two charges, manslaughter and accident involving death. They were arrested in 2022 for the deadly multi-crash on I-10 at Hawkins where Raymond Barron died. Police say Gutierrez was driving a Corvette that lost control and hit the center median. According to investigators, that Corvette hit Nunez, who was driving a Tahoe, causing her to slam into the back of Barron's car. The impact of that crash caused Barron to lose control of the car which hit a cement barrier and burst into flames. That's according to investigators. Police say both Gutierrez and Nunez were driving more than 110 miles per hour at the time of the crash. Today, Nunez and Barron were sentenced to 10 years of probation, which includes 180 days in jail and 200 hours of community service. That's according to court records. Yvonne Delgado, Barron's sister, says the sentencing feels like a slap in the face. Every day it's a constant reminder. I mean, he's not here. They took, they took him from us. They ripped him from us and they're still walking and they're still, you know, six months to 10. It's, I was just out, like, I couldn't believe it. The family also says this type of lenient sentencing may encourage people to not care about speeding. I'm Gabi Hernandez, ABC7.